Queen de Lutz. Let's do some vintage sewing. This time on Queen Deluxe, I thought we'd do a little 20 questions. I have a lot of new uh, viewers and subscribers and I thought, hey, you guys don't know who I am and what I'm about. So let's get started. So uh, I'm Queen Deluxe or Bronwyn Burton. Uh, this is Rudy. He is my doggo. He's on patrol right now, making sure that, you know, the people walking by know that, uh, <laughs> they better be on watch, make sure they're not doing anything that they shouldn't be doing. Rudy, chill. We're good. Everybody's safe. Thank you for doing the good work, though. Yeah. Okay. So, first question. What was your first costume? and share an embarrassing photo. Um, I have made a lot of costumes in my lifetime. So my mom has, um, or she had given me like clothespin dolls that I made when I was like five years old. Um, so it's literally like a wooden clothespin that has um, fabric wrapped around it that I got out of the trash can. My parents did liturgical vestments for a living, which is a real fancy word for stuff people wear in churches and stuff that's on the altar cloths and or on the altar and on banners and decorations around the church um so there's always like fabric scraps and silk in the trash can so i was always taking stuff out and trying to make things out of it from as soon as i could stand up so i have those so i guess that would be my first costume they look very theatrical uh there's like trains and head uh coverings and um they look very theatrical very costumey very, very, very. <laughs> so I guess those were the first costumes I've ever made, um, which is kind of really braggy, I guess. So sorry, but that's that's that. Um, I was very into costumes my entire life. I loved playing pretend, dressing up in like you know clothes that we had at the house. Um, that was my big thing. I love dressing other people in costumes for whatever we were playing. We had a big thing where we did circus for a long time. We had a trampoline at one point. So, uh, it's a long history of costumes. Uh, my favorite Halloween costume? My mom made me a Spanish dancer skirt and it was really full and uh, fancy. My Best friend at the time had a, a doll that we kind of based it off of, but it didn't turn out as like the way I imagined it in my mind because my mom was like busy and she could only do so much and it actually looked fabulous, but it wasn't what was in my mind. And that's kind of what started me on the journey of building my own things because like my mom couldn't see what was in my mind and I needed it to be the way that I wanted it to be. The first historical costumes I made was this guy up here. I'll really try to find a picture of it. Um, I started taking classes at Fullerton College when I was in high school because my sewing skills had advanced um, out of any, like the teachers at the high school couldn't teach me anymore. I was already above them. I was showing them how to change um, fix machines and things at the school and helping other students and so she's like uh, you're beyond me I need you to go <laughs> you need you need more information you need to go someplace else to get that stuff so I ended up going to community college and they had a costume program there and um I did my first historical costume there and that was for the renaissance fair what is your favorite costume that you've ever made that's a hard one I get asked this all the time um I, I'm gonna have to say I got to make some costumes for a toy rabbit in a production um, for South Coast Repertory and uh, it was they were there's actually like three or four of them and they were I don't know two feet high or so he had to have he had more costumes than everyone else in the show um, so uh, and I make got to make all of his costumes so he had a little sailor outfit and he had like 1890s suit a little top hat um, he got lost at sea and then someone made him like a homemade dress so it was kind of had to make um, a little dress for him um, and then at the end he also had like a little 1940s suit it was, um, it was kind of like my little heart's desire of like doing doll clothes but I got paid to do it it was kind of 
what costume do you dream of making? I would say the um, Mombi from Return of Oz, Return from Oz. Um, it's like hand painted and it has like these big spikes on the back. It's kind of amazing and that movie was really inspiring for me. Like it had um, the whimsy of like fantasy costumes but it also was really grounded in period costumes. It's fabulous. If you haven't seen it, you guys should watch it. What sewing task uh, or love versus hate? I love the patterning process. That's my first love. So getting into the patterning part is really what I love the most. Um, I also love cutting out. What I hate is hems. I always trick myself to do the hem sort of uh, sooner in the process. I find if I leave it to the very, very end, I don't want to do it and it ends up in a basket or whatever and doesn't get done. Um, hand sewing is not my favorite. I'm one of those machine sewers. So any tricks uh, to not hand sew, I, I will tend to do. I'm trying to I'm trying to get better at my hand sewing. Would you rather sew silk or wool? That's a hard one. That's a hard one. Um, I love both. I guess wool, because it does what you want it to do. You can form it with the iron and it is really lovely. Silk is, uh, it, it, it's kind of in control and you're, um, convincing it to do things um but it's it's more in control i do love how silk looks at, at the with the finished product so would you rather go to a themed event or pick your own theme event probably pick your own theme event i'm not one for following i like to do my own thing <laughs> i'm not good at following directions <laughs> okay um yeah. Let me know in the comments below what you like to do and uh, what events I should be attending when they open up again. Would you rather attend a big ball or an intimate dinner? Probably an intimate dinner. I haven't attended either, being new to historical costuming. But, being uh, the introvert that I am, I I love an intimate conversation more than a big honking thing. But big, big events are kind of fun because it's like people watching is um, really cool. Do you prefer to machine sew or hand sew? Machine sew. Hands down. All the time. Faster. It looks better too. <laughs> or at least my hand sewing is not up to snuff. Uh, okay. Do you like wigs, hair pieces, or your own hair? This is, I am not good at doing hair. Uh, so, somebody else did the wig? That'd probably be good. Someone else did my hair. That would be good. Uh, something I'm working on. Small businesses that you love in the historical costuming world. That's kind of hard because I'm new. So if you have um, some thoughts on who I should check out, please put those in the um, comments below. I have bought shoes from American Duchess and I was very pleased with them. They're kind of, they're totally awesome and I uh, worth the money. Uh, Richard the Thread. Um, I order from quite often. They come lickety split, but I'm really close to them. So I get it the next day and I always have what I need. Um, but they are a little bit more expensive and they're not really a small business, I would say. I mean, small compared to like Amazon, I guess. But please put your comments um, down below and let me know who I should check out. Favorite color? I always say it's periwinkle blue, but honestly, it's probably orange. <laughs> Pearls or sparkles? Probably sparkles. Um, I hate working with sparkles, but I like the aesthetic of sparkles better. <laughs> when I, when I'm sewing for other people, I always charge a glitter tax because so, the sequins and the glitter gets everywhere all over your house if you're sewing for other people. Um, so it is the herpes of crafting, but it usually looks awesome when it's done, <laughs> but they are a pain. What costume trip do you dream of taking? I would love to go to Versailles Museum. and Any of the big museums in the other part of the world, I would love to go to. Louvre, the v and uh, So, museum trips. What is my favorite cocktail? Um, if you couldn't tell, I'm into tiki, so um, I love a good painkiller. That is one of my faves. And I'm guessing historical costumer I would like to meet. Um, still so very new to this community that I'd like to meet all of them. Uh, plain or patterned fabric? Patterned fabric, probably. I do love using one color palette, but different patterns um, in that same color palette. 
that seems to be one of the things that when I've designed stuff, that's what comes out. Um, so there's that, but definitely patterned. I love plain fabric too. It's not like, you know, but I don't know if you haven't noticed, <laughs> it's like three different patterns in this, uh, <laughs> one shot. So patterned. Uh, Use a pattern or make your own. Um, I love doing both. Uh, I obviously love making my own patterns, um, but I love learning from vintage patterns and books and stuff like that because you, you really do learn things every time you do a new pattern. Uh, what is my favorite era to wear? 1950s probably. I love 1940s. I love 1920s. If I wasn't looked at like a total weirdo all the time, I probably would wear 1920s exclusively. But um, 1950s is a little more, is a little easier to wear. People, you know, you're like dressing vintage and that's... But uh, I have always loved 1920s uh, ever since I was little. Clean lines, less trim. It's uh, sewn in details that I love. Um, but I love 1950s too. Um, and I guess that's kind of the same clean lines, less trim. It's all about the details and the sewing. What is one thing we don't know about you? Um, probably a lot of you don't know that I used to play roller derby. Love to roller skate. Getting a little old for it, but love doing it. I'm gonna add one. What is my favorite era to make? Not necessarily wear, but to make. It is 1930s. I love doing bias draping. It is awesome. I love it so much. Those are the 20 questions. If you have any questions for me that I didn't answer, um, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'd love to answer them. Thanks for um, coming by and I'll see you next time. Bye. Goodness.